as I wrap up that Martin guitar of Fred's with the huge crack that we repaired, I thought I'd take a minute to sort of go through the design of these jigs that I use. So as you can see, it's a machine head. I have a couple of dowels in there uh, and I've put, you know, those little screws that you get for, for holding the machine head down. I installed those in the ends of the dowel. So this way it opens up just enough to get that string through. You saw them on the guitar, but I thought I would take a minute and explain like this is, as you can see, sort of a concave shape. This is also concave. So this is one of the crack winches that you saw me use on that job. And you can see that it has a concave form that spreads along the length of the crack. That's what pulled that portion together flush. You can see that this doesn't have a curvature, it's basically straight. This one has a slight curvature, less than these two. These are the two probes. Now this is sharpened to like a surgical edge. It's flat on the bottom and has a slight taper downward towards that leading edge. This I hold in the palm of my hand. I reach in with this shorter one first and I get it started along the back edge. Once I have a little bit of purchase, then I'll have the longer one, which is long enough to actually go right through. I'm showing you this not so you can run out and do it yourself, but for people that are operating at this level or aspire to do this job, I'm hoping that this gives you a better idea what you're facing. I let that sit like so for about three minutes. So I thought this would be the best angle to kind of give you as we take this apart and uh, just show you how quickly, safely, and easily you can do this. And that is the way this thing comes in the box.